Hello one and all, welcome to Missing People's Psychic Readings, I'm Marlon, if you like the scribe and put your thumbs up if you want. So, before I start on Cleo, I am going to get names in case it's mixed up, but I will put them all down, I do have this first year, so sorry about that. So this is Cleo, she's four years old, she went missing yesterday, um, and what happened, she went camping with her family, okay? And she, her mum was the last person that saw her about 1.30 in the morning, a.m. Um, and about 6 a.m. in the morning, she went back and checked on her, um, realised she wasn't there. Um, so that's pretty much what happened with her. Um, she's four years old. And she, the SES, the police in France, has been looking for her for the whole 24 hours, haven't found her at all. I was hoping that they would be found by now and of course that's why I left the reading a bit later but as you can see she hasn't been found. So this was in, I don't know if I just said it, but in South Australia, North um, McLeod, okay, um, in South Australia. So I'm going to do a reading on it, so feel free to move on with it. But at the same time, if you have any information on, on her, feel please pass it on to a police. And thirdly, um, if, I, if any of my information is useful, feel free to use it. Don't have to say it my name. Don't have to say it's on my behalf. Whatever you want to say, right? So I'm just going to do a reading on that, okay? So this is what I'm getting. I'm getting, and I don't think she heard her, but I am getting a lady with blonde hair, hazy or, hazel or brown eyes, okay? In her 30s, in one of her eyes, it's lazy. I, I feel like she's more connected to her, Cleo. And she's got blonde hair, sorry, she's got blonde hair. I feel like she's more connected to her. It, I feel like this is more of a, okay, she's giving something here. Yeah, that information coming. So, so I'm getting that. Now, I'm getting a lighthouse. And I'm getting the lighthouse, she's there. Um, she's not... Clearly, it's not in the water, but she's near the edge of the water, okay? So she, she might be, if she's in the water, she's close to the edge, okay? I'm getting that, okay? And um, what I still picked up on, I'm getting, um, what I still pick up, um, um, oh yeah, and I'm getting mum walking towards her. Now, I don't know what that means, but I feel like that's important, okay. Um, and I'm getting, I had a dream about two nights ago, and I wasn't sure what it was. I'll put it down underneath so you can watch it. There's something to do connected to this. I don't know how it's connected, but it's connected to this, okay. Um, I'm getting, um, Now, the lady I saw, she's in her 30s. Um, I don't know the exact age, but she's in her 30s. Um, um, now, with the lighthouse, there's a cliff. That's why I've got a cliff. So it's near the cliff. Where she is, it's near the cliff, okay? Maybe in the Well, I don't know how you spray it, but in the cliff itself. I don't know how you spray it, but yeah, around that area. Um... And I had a dream last night, and I don't know how this is connected, but I've been told to talk about this dream last night, okay? It's it's unusual. Um, I don't feel like it's, it might be connected to her case, but not where she is, okay? So I'm just going to go with this dream, okay? So I'm in a room, in a, in a building actually, and there's about, I would say about three or four kids, okay? They keep on coming out of their room. I'm going, go back to your room, go back to your room, that kind of stuff. Yeah. Then there's an older person, I don't know if they're a kid, a young teenager or an adult, but he comes out. It's a male, it's got black hair, um, well built, um, yeah. And he comes out and comes to get me, takes me back to his room in the bed spread, okay. I don't know, if it's soil or not but it's red right so I go to this person okay you're gonna have to remake your own bed so I go and get stuff on that's okay 
But then, um, um, somewhere else, I don't know where I am, but I grab a cap, and this is really weird. I grab a cap, and I look at this cap, I go, ooh, Sargate, it's G1, right? And I go to my stuff, I wonder where they got this, I want to get this, I wonder where they got this, okay, that's okay. And then I'm in, I'm, I'm sitting at a desk, and people walk towards me, and we're doing something, and I say we need fifteen hundred or fifteen thousand, something like that, okay, and we need to do something with this amount of people. You're gonna get paid good, but we need that amount of people, okay? We need that amount of people, and you're gonna get paid good, okay? And that's where the dream ends. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty weird. I know it's weird. I don't know what this got to do with her case. But I did say the dream last night. And I'm wondering if someone picked up a car through this whole search, saw it, and said, Oh, I like this. I wonder where they got this. That's one of the things I'm thinking of. And two is that how many people they need to help look for um, her. I'm not going to say no, I'm not going to get it wrong. But, yeah, I'm wondering if that's the thing, is if it's that many people they got to help look for her. Um, 1,500 or 15,000 people help look for her. Because um, I've been to the dream last night and the dream beforehand. And it kind of makes sense of dream beforehand because I had a dream beforehand. Now I think I'll, I'll, I won't get right into it. You can watch it on my YouTube. Is um, I dreamt that I was at this thing. It's round. It's a round thing. I didn't say round, but there's grass and dirt around it and water. And I told a person to come over and look at it because I see something in it. I thought maybe connected to her. That kind of that can make sense to that. Yeah, the other stuff I don't get, but yeah. So I thought I'll put them both. I'll talk about that bit in this because I feel like this dream I had last night it's more of a proof thing. Yeah, I know what she's talking about, that kind of stuff. It's the same as this lady. I feel like it's it's more okay. I know who she's talking about, that kind of stuff. It's not connected to in a sense, oh, this way she is, but it's more I know what she's talking about. Yeah, but. I will hope if anyone's watching this and thinking, oh, she makes sense here and I want to help, I will highly look at this light, um, lighthouse. I really think she's around that area. Um, I just got this gut feeling because I'm thinking, am I, have I picked, I'm trying to pick up on other stuff related to her. But I guess keep on going back to this lighthouse. So I really think she might be around that lighthouse. Um, um yeah that's all i can say i just feel like she's around that area um and if she's yeah she, yeah it just feel like it's just because like i said i keep on going back to stuff with her and i keep on going back to this lighthouse so it's something about this lighthouse i don't know if the family's been there or not but yeah i just keep on going back to this lighthouse so that's pretty much it. I'll tell you again about her. Um, she's four years old and she went missing north from, but north from the McLeod um, in South Australia. I'll put the whole name down, the name. Um, and her mum checked her about 1.30am in the morning yesterday. She was there, she was fine. But then she went and checked her again at 6 o'clock am in the morning again. And she wasn't there and her mum was with her and, um so she put it across the media it's this is a big thing it must be a big thing because um someone said you have to put it across the whole media um so someone say that it's quite big i mean we actually put it across the whole media but actually saying it it's another thing so i think that's important to know too so there's something in this okay but that's pretty much it. Um, I hope this is useful. And yeah, um, like I said, subscribe if you want, like if you want, and I'll see you next time for another missing person. Bye.